Breastfeeding and Medications, Wikipedia Article Audio Breastfeeding and medications is the description of the medications that can be used by a breastfeeding mother with no OR few consequences and those medications which are recommended to be avoided. Some medications are excreted in breast milk. Almost all medicines pass into breast milk in small amounts. Some have no effect on the baby and can be used while breastfeeding. The National Institutes of Medicine maintains a database containing information on drugs and other chemicals to which breastfeeding mothers may be exposed. It includes information on the levels of such substances in breast milk and infant blood, and the possible adverse effects in the nursing infant. Suggested therapeutic alternatives to those drugs are provided, where appropriate. All data are derived from reliable sources. Some medications and herbal supplements can be of concern. This can be because the drug can accumulate in breast milk or have effects on the infant and the mother. Those medications of concern are those medications used to treat substance and alcohol addiction. Other medications of concern are those that are used in smoking cessation. Pain medications and antidepressants need evaluation. The determination of the safety of a medication can be evaluated by considering the following. Evaluating the potential for adverse effects. Over-the-counter medications. Over-the-counter medications are those medications that do not require a prescription to purchase in the U.S. Medications that require a prescription to purchase in the U.S. may be available in other countries without a prescription. The following guidelines are recommended. Other substances or chemicals have been evaluated regarding their safe use during pregnancy. Hair dye or solutions used for a permanent do not pass to breast milk. No adverse reports of using oral antihistamines and breastfeeding are found. Some of the older antihistamines used by a nursing mother can cause drowsiness in the infant. This may be a concern if the infant misses feedings by sleeping instead of nursing. The age and maturity of the infant. Full-term infants are better able to metabolize medications than premature infants. The weight of the infant, the amount and percentage of breast milk consumed by the infant. An infant taking solid foods with breastfeeding will receive a lower dose of medication, the general health of the infant and the general health of the mother, the nature of the mother's illness, if present, the general information about the drug other literature documenting studies related to the drug and breastfeeding, the duration of the drug therapy, is the drug short-acting? A short-acting form of the drug may be a better choice for a breastfeeding mother rather than a longer-acting form that stays in the mother's system for a longer period. How is the medication being given? Does the drug interfere with lactation? Taking oral medications after breastfeeding rather than before will allow some of the medication to leave the mother's body through her kidneys between nursings. In most women without kidney disease, nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and paracetamol are used safely, aspirin can cause rashes and even cause bleeding in infants, limit the use of antihistamines for long periods of time. These anti-allergy medications can cause crying, sleep problems, fussiness, excessive sleepiness in babies. Antihistamines have an effect on the amount of milk the body produces and decrease the supply. Carefully observe the infant for changes or side effects when first taking a medication to watch for side effects. Side effects indicating that the medication is having an effect on the baby is difficulty breathing, rash and other questionable changes that occurred after the medication was started by the mother. Many times other young children are in the home and keeping these over-the-counter medications out of their reach is a safe practice.